Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. It is still July 13th. I just wanted to let you know, just like my phone calls with Jenna every two weeks on Friday or so, how everything's quiet and I don't get shocked um, because they're listening in on my phone calls. So now after my posting, my arm has been quivering because they're shocking me. And I did get two needles in this arm. So maybe they put something in this arm. Like I said, maybe there's a device underneath the trailer because um, they have this electrical equipment to use so they could fuck with my brain, fuck with my heart. Mm. God forgive me. I'm going to post this. I'm sorry. I'm in the flesh. I'm not going to hide from it. I did it. I said it. Um, they boom, boom, send signals to each other. They're behind the house, down the road, up the road, behind the road. They follow me everywhere I go. Look, my arm is shaking. It's quivering because they put something in here. The people over here, the people over there, Salvation Auto. Um, this happens all the time. So I'm healthy as a horse. There's nothing wrong with me. The people behind the shop and back, who the hell knows what these people do? Who the hell are they to me? to be terrorizing me. I don't know. Um, look at this. There's nothing psychologically wrong with me. There's nothing neurologically wrong with me. They're shocking me. Somebody was in the yard two Sundays ago. Nobody was covering the shelter, our trailer. Who knows what they did if they put something under, under, over, or something's in the flatbed over here in the little case on the truck. Who the hell knows? All I know is that this is true, honest, faithful. I have no reason to lie. I am truly sorry from the bottom of my heart that I just cursed. That was the flesh. This is the evil that these people walk around with. Is this going to stop? Probably not because something's in me. I'm not, I'm not going to hurt my arm. We're getting an x-ray soon in a week of what's in my arm to find out what's in there. Um, if I disappear, murdered, do you never see me again? I was murdered. Come to Salvation Army. Check Landview Avenue. Go to West Palm Beach. Um, you know, all, you could check, talk to all my roommates. I live with Jeffrey, Victoria, uh, Ken and Durant, wonderful family. Uh, where else did I live? Uh, Jeffrey lives in Palm Beach Garden. Victoria lives in Palm Beach Gardens. Yeah, she was very interesting. You know, your time on your, your, the time on the microwave is on 24 hours a day, but if you don't hit stop with the digital timing, that's going to ruin the thing. I just, these are the things that I, that's why I said I'd rather be homeless and uh, enjoy being homeless and live by the beach than put up with people that really just have nothing to do and pick on other people. Um, but it's okay. God made a way for me when I thought I saw no way. And uh, yeah, see, watch, watch my arm. There's something in there. I have no neurological problem. I'm walking, talking, breathing. I'm healthy as a horse. I've been working out. I lost weight since last year. I'm not stuffing my face with pizzas anymore and just garbage food. I don't eat carbohydrates only on Saturday and Sunday. I'm, I'm weight training, lifting weights, doing my bungee cords. Um, this is what I go through every time I make a post or get off the phone and talk about the terrorists. So, um, the best is yet to come. Again, you saw the flesh. I I did it. It's there. I'm not going to erase it. I'm going to post it. And this, it happened. So um, this is what's happening to me on a daily basis. That's just the quiver. Um, I don't know. I'm going to go look under the trail to see if I can find some devices. I know the people behind the house have radiation machines piled up behind the bushes somewhere. If not, they're somewhere else. I don't know, in sheds and whatever. I have no idea. All I know is they're, they're, there's nobody for us but God. So that's why I say I don't know what I did. I don't know who I did. Who has these resources but the government? What the hell did I do to the government? I don't know. I don't even bother with them. Um, I pay my taxes. Like the officer asked me, the sheriff asked me at the, at the airport, did I pay my taxes? No, I was scared at the time asking you for help. It had nothing to do with taxes at all, sir. And I hope that you never treat anybody again the way you treated me in time of need and, and, and fear. I truly hope you don't. Um, anyway, again, my arm is going, they're zapping me. Um,
I would like one somebody, I wish God could put somebody in my shoes for one day to really see what's going on, that I am truthful and I'm not cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs. This, this couldn't be more real than I could be back in Florida at the beach, living my life as I was. However, my life was without God and I wasn't happy about that, but I was angry. And now my life is with God and I'm being terrorized. And clearly they don't care. See, these are people that don't care. They have no discretion for law or the law. Some law people might be on their side, but they have no discretion for the law. Okay. Because they have no fear when I post, they don't care. So again, that's between them and God and the police. So my God is true and faithful and uh, he can be true and faithful for you too. So just wanted to share this post post. Have a beautiful night and uh, keep me in your prayers. Peace out.